Mark Scheifele of the Winnipeg Jets is facing a suspension after a dirty hit on Jake Evans of the Montreal Canadiens last night. We're going to discuss what happened and give you my thoughts coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. Now, as I mentioned, we have another situation on our hands where we had a player stretched off the ice last night in the Montreal Canadiens versus the Winnipeg Jets game one of their playoff series last night. It was a pretty solid game up until about the final minute or so when the uh, Winnipeg Jets had an empty net trying to tie the game up when this unfortunate situation ended up taking place. Now, if you did not see the play live or if you have not caught a replay, uh, I cannot show the footage here due to copyright issues. However, just to give you a quick explanation of what happened as like i said the jets had the goalie out they were putting pressure on montreal trying to get the puck in to try to tie the game up the habs got the puck down the ice but of course it wasn't going into the empty net habs forward jake evans uh, was skating down the ice had a good lead on anybody behind him uh, attempted to get the puck where he had to kind of wrap around is what he was trying to do to get it into the open net which did happen he did get the puck in but Mark Shifley, who was storing back on the back check, who had started skating all the way basically from the faceoff circle, the Montreal zone. So he skated hard for three quarters of the ice, basically. Uh, he skated hard till about the faceoff circles of the other zone and then glided in and laid out a massive hit and absolutely destroyed Jake Evans in the process. Now, of course, Jake Evans kind of went flying, ended up hitting his head. Um, it's, a, it's an ugly situation. Now, a lot of people are calling it a disgusting, dirty, unnecessary hit, and I'm not really sure that I can defend the hit in any way, and I'm not going to try to. Uh, I really think this hit was avoidable, but we do have to keep something in mind here. Um, the Montreal player, Jake Evans, needs to keep his head up. Now, I'm not sure on this play if it would have prevented the, the collision or not. I'm going to say probably not, but the whole time was skating down the ice, he wasn't looking behind him. He wasn't having his head up. He wasn't, you know, looking around at all. Um, so, you know, you are taught that to keep your head up. I mean, Shifley's coming back. I expect him to skate hard. I expect him to back check. I expect him to try his every best, an ounce of him, to prevent that goal. But what happened was ugly and unnecessary, and I think it could have been avoided. Now, if Evans had had his head up, Maybe, like I said, I can't say that that would have prevented anything. And I'm not faulting Jake Evans one little bit. I hope he's okay. And I, I don't think what happened here is really his fault. But I'm just saying if his head would have been up like it should have been, maybe. And I'm just optimistic here. Maybe the situation could have been somewhat avoided. Maybe he would have uh, taken a different path. I don't I don't know. Anyways, I, just, I would have liked to have seen Evans keep his head up because things happen when your head is down in hockey that are bad and it's bad news it's a bad bad decision however mark shifley's decision was really bad as well and i was a really disappointed this is actually the third time i've tried filming this because uh, i was i started to last night after it happened and i was just like you know, you know what I, I need to i need to think this through i need to cool down here i was really upset with mark shifley uh, Mark Shifley is not a dirty player based on his past play. This was a, a dirty play, in my opinion. But you can't call him a dirty player based on his uh, career so far. Uh, he's somebody that I'm a big fan of, typically. I really like Mark Shifley's game. He's an incredibly smart player. I don't think that he would intentionally, in his right mind, let me clarify that, try to injure anybody. Mark Shifley knows firsthand what it's like to be injured. Uh, on a, even if you want to call it a fluke accidental play, look what happened to him in the playoffs last year with Matthew Kachuk. Uh, many people say that that was a fluky accidental thing too, where, you know, uh, skate, uh, Kachuk's skate got him and he was out for the rest of the playoffs. Like, he knows. And he's a smart, smart player, very studious player. Uh, he's really interested in learning the game and studying the game. Like, Mark Shifley might not always get the credit for it if you don't know a lot about him as a player or person. You might not know, but he really is one of the game's brightest minds and most interested minds. Like I can see him making an, a terrific coach someday. But you could also see last night that Mark Shifley's frustrations were boiling over. He had taken a penalty, I think it was about five or six minutes or something like that to go, uh, which he didn't obviously agree with. Put his team in a bad spot. Uh, you could see as a lot of the after-the-whistle scrums he was getting involved, and he was distracted. Like, the line that Evans played on last night with Deneau and Gallagher were frustrating the the Jets' line of Shifley. And 
And it's just like they did to Toronto. Like, that line is largely responsible, even though they don't get a ton of credit offensively, for stopping Matthews and Marner and not giving them more chances. And, of course, the ones they did get, Carey Price played well or they missed the net. Like, really, like, if you look at that, like, that, to me, is the turning point in the difference in the series. <clears throat> so... You know, obviously frustration has set in and he let it get the best of him. He lost his cool. He lost his mind. He got emotional. And in my opinion, he made a bad decision. Now, his play there should have been going for the puck. And I, my, my thinking here is you know, a little ways out, he realized he wasn't going to make it in time. So instead of going for the puck, he decided I'm going to run right through this guy and send a message. And that's the part that I don't like. You're like what message are you sending? Like, that's the part of the game that I, I have a hard time wrapping my head around. And I've always been that way back when I played when I was younger, uh, obviously. And when I watched in the NHL or any other level of hockey that I watch here as a fan as, as well now or, or in the last number of years. So, it, it, to me, it doesn't make a lot of sense. But I do expect Shifley to, to, to back check really hard and to be skating at a high speed. But I just don't think that that collision was necessary. He knew that Evans didn't see him. He knew Evans was vulnerable and he took advantage of it. And it's wrong. Like, I mean, if you look up the definition of charging, it's charging to a T. I mean, he skated, like I said, almost three quarters of the length of the ice, or you could say at least half. He went from like face off circle to almost face off circle at high speed and then glided in and laid the boom on Evans. And you could tell with Shifley, who knows better? And I said, that's what the part of the boat that said really disappoints me the most. It's not a player with a history here. It's not like it's a, we can be like, oh, Tom Olsen's at it again. Or, uh, you know, Brad Marchand, who's cleaned up his act a lot more. But still, like he's got a pass too. You know, guys like that, that you expect to cross the line once in a while. It's not that. It's Mark freaking Shifley. One of the game's better players. One of the game's smarter players. Who knows better and cross the line. Like it's, I've been a big fan of his his whole career, dating back to his junior days. You know, he learned from a great, like Dale Howardchuk, a Jet great. Like, it's, you know, it's just, it's fitting that he plays for the Jets. Like, I just, he, he's a good human. Like, I, I really believe that. I mean, but good people can do dumb things and make big mistakes. And that's what happened here last night. You could tell, if you watched the clip, when Shifley got off the ice, he started to go down the tunnel, then he kind of turned back. And to me, the look on his face was like, think of somebody when they're like enraged and they do something and then they start to come to their senses a few minutes later and it's like, oh crap, what the heck did I just do? That's to me what looked on his face. So I think to me, he will be, at least I hope he will be remorseful and realize that he did something really bad and dumb. He put his team in a really bad spot. We know for sure from NHL player safety, he's having a phone hearing today. So we know it's a maximum of five games. I don't think he's going to get a lot. He doesn't have a prior history. I'm thinking one game to me doesn't seem quite right. So I'm thinking two to three is probably what's going to happen. But there's really no recent um, similar scenarios to really compare this to. I mean, we've had other charging suspensions, but nothing like this. Uh, it kind of somewhat reminiscing of the Dale Hunter on Pierre Turgeon situation way back. That was a long time ago. I remember watching that when I was much younger. Um, not exactly like that, but that's kind of what came to mind when it happened. And it's just an ugly ending to a really good game. It's the second time in two weeks in this North Canadian division that we've seen a player stretch it off the ice. And I, that's not something I want to see. It, you know, like I know the Tavera situation was different. That was accidental. And trust me, like, I love the game of hockey. It's a fast, physical, punishing sport. And I like all those aspects of it. But there are certain aspects of it that you have to, you know, respect each other more and not want to injure each other. And to me, like, you could argue intent there. I don't know. I mean, I've heard some uh, current and former, well, mostly former NHL players between social media and the radio and different things weighing in. And most of them said, like, I finish my check there every single time. Uh, I understand you get a job to do, but if you're going for the puck, I have no problem with it. If you're going for that puck to keep the puck out of the net and your intent isn't to, to slam into this guy on you know just to hurt him, 
And something, you know, obviously there can be repercussions. There's all kinds of situations that happens in the NHL where you say, you know what? It's not a dirty play. It's technically within the rules. It's just an unfortunate outcome. That happens. Happens a lot. This isn't one of those, in my opinion. Like, to me, like, Shifley knows better. And I guarantee you he's not happy with himself right now. Now, we do get word from the Montreal Canadiens last night that Jake Evans... Uh, did not need to go to hospital. He was monitored by medical staff at the rink and then later at the hotel. He seems to be doing okay. Uh, Dominic Ducharme, uh, head coach of the Habs, just recently before I recorded this, confirmed that Evans does have a concussion. No big surprise. And he'll be out indefinitely. Again, that's what they always say because the concussions are really difficult to predict. He could be out three, four games, could be a couple of weeks. You just You don't know. You cannot predict concussions. But the fact that he didn't need to be observed in a hospital overnight is encouraging. It was also Jake Evans' birthday yesterday. Now, I, and I said this before uh, off camera, I don't expect Mark Shifley to know that it's per, his birthday. It's not his job. He's not, he, and he doesn't care. Um, but still, I felt bad for Jake Evans scoring a big goal after playing a really big game, being a big role in the Habs, and on his birthday, getting the you know the empty netter, the, the, the seal it up, and then now what happens? And his family's got to watch that. Like it's just it's really unfortunate, and I hate to see that stuff happen. I don't want to see players getting hurt and stretched off the ice. I, to me, that's not entertainment. And I, as much as I love the physical play and the big hits, I don't want to see that. That's not entertaining to me to watch a player on the ice looking like they're practically dead. I don't get enjoyment out of that. So I would like to see adjustments made so that some of these hits are taken out. Like, I, and I'm, that's the problem, though. Is to me, it's, it's not even so much the actual play. It's, it's the rule book. The NHL can only do what they're allowed to do based on their own set of rules that is set by the, the, the league, the GMs, the Players Association, everybody involved has to all agree on all that stuff. The players themselves sometimes don't seem like they're that anxious to take it out of the game either. And if they don't want to... Then they're playing with this kind of risk. It's just that simple. Like, so I said with Evans, like, I feel terrible. It's a Shifley didn't need to do that, in my opinion. Now, one good thing that happened out of all that, and Dominic Ducharme acknowledged this in his press conference earlier, is Nick Ehlers, Shifley's teammate, recognized immediately that Evans was in a lot of medical trouble and protected him. Even though they're not on the same team, he kind of was sprawled out protecting that scrum of players and the, the, the fight that was happening with the Habs attacking Shifley for what he did to make sure that nobody fell or trampled on Jake Evans. The linesman came rushing in and went to the player immediately, not the scrum. So for that, good on you, Nick Ehlers. You're a good human. I know he knows Dominic Ducharme well from his days at the Halifax Mooseheads. Um, like I said, I've been watching Ehlers a long time. I watch a lot of the... Quebec Major Junior Hockey League teams that play in Atlantic Canada like the Mooseheads and the Moncton Wildcats and the St. John Sea Dogs. They're all in my backyard. I get to see them play a fair bit through the season. So a lot of these guys that have come through those teams, I've gotten to watch a lot here. So Nick Ehlers is, is a heck of a hockey player. I've been watching him a long time. Doesn't surprise me that he would do that. And I know the Habs well appreciated, including his former coach, Ducharme. So at the end of the day here, Shifley will be suspended. I'd like to know what everybody thinks is justified here. We're probably going to know by this evening. Um, what do you think of the hit? That's my two cents. I want to weigh in on it here. I, I really am disappointed with Mark Shifley, a guy who I had a lot of respect for and really enjoy as a player. Crossed the line, did something really dumb. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on this hit. We'll be back later, hopefully with some better topics to talk about. we got more videos coming out today. Uh, hopefully try to be a little bit more upbeat in news. Uh, obviously, this hit just really upset me, and I had to get this rant off my chest to get my thoughts out there. So I hope we can discuss this in the comments, civilized, rationally, not attack each other. That's not what this is about. Share your thoughts in the comments. We'll discuss further, and I'll catch you in the next video.